Leo, welcome to your weekly general reading. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. It will not resonate with all of you out there. This is also not sun, moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Leo propensity placement that is relevant to you. Personal reading information. Speaking of Leo, coming in strong. Personal reading information will be linked and listed in the description box. Any jewelry seen, as well as the blanket, anything else, linked and listed. At the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Um, this is for December, but time is elusive. Whenever you are drawn to the reading, it's usually when it's meant to be heard. Let's jump into it, Leo. Oh no, my cards are just fussy. They've been fussy. Is that the energy of the collective? Fussy? Okay, Leo, for the week of December, Queen of Cups, your first card out, Water Sign Energy, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio could be important to you. But this is someone that is emotionally available, someone that has a lot of love to give, someone that is emotionally intelligent as well. They don't just give their cup to anybody. You can see she's holding on to it. You know, wants to give it to someone, but it ain't desperate. Five of Wands, they ain't desperate. It looks like there might be a lot of competitors that want this person's love, male or female, it does not matter. This is someone that's just not in chasing energy. They're in receiving, but they ain't gonna chase you. So whether this is you or someone else that you are connected to energetically, someone where there is some competition around, the person might have a lot of people that would be interested in them in whatever capacity. We are speaking about emotions here. But Five is also an energy of change change but i do get a vibe of there there are people competing more than one person competing for this person's affection this person's love doesn't look like they're giving it to them though the back is completely turned to the competition nine of cups flipped what else for leo december what do they need to know strength card there you are again you definitely wanted to make your way so this could be you, Leo. Got a lot of love to give. Ain't quick to give it away to anybody. You know, but you got it. You're ready. You're open. The world card, Major Arcana. That is fixed energy. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. And the Ten of Wands. So going from the Five to the Ten of Wands. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Cups. We have two Fives here now. Five Five could be very important to you. You could be seeing that number. But heavy on the change vibration, heavy on the change vibration, there is a change coming or has recently passed, could be in the new year. I am seeing the world card here. We are at the end of 2022 cycle. And we just got out of Leo season, didn't we? Yeah, so coming in here in the past, you have the Strength card, Major Arcana, that is your sign, and the Queen of Cups. I'm getting this as like a holding back energy. You are ready. You are available. You do have a lot of love to give. You do want to give it to somebody. But you're not doing it the way you used to do it. Or this could be someone that you are connected to. You're not doing it maybe the way that you used to do it. There is a sense of restraining here, like taming the beast. You're not just going on multiple, you know. You're really waiting for that one special person. You're not going to make any sort of effort unless you feel like it is worth giving effort to, plain and simply put. This is also an energy of overcoming that Leo energy. So it seems like some it's a lesson that you, that you have learned. A major lesson that you learned to not just give away your cup to anybody. Not to say you're going to make them jump through hoops, which is kind of the vibe of this world card. <laughs> So I feel like there's going to be some balance in here. Maybe you're at that time, that point where people need to jump through hoops. Because she really looks like she's jumping through a hoop here with that world card. And with the five of wands, so there are people that want your attention. There are people that would love to get to know you and all that type of stuff. Lots of them actually with the five of wands. But you might have this jump through hoops sort of vibe about you. Because whatever it is that happened in the past here, it made you tough made that extra wall, that exterior wall a bit more thicker. Some sort of emotional situation that you had to overcome. So now it's like, <laughs> I'm going to hold on to this cup a lot more tighter now. Yeah. You got to prove to me, right? The nine of cups in your future energy and the ten of wands. It doesn't look like this is going to be conducive to growth, though. It's not going to get you what you want. 
right? Because it's still it's still a reflection of wounding. When we require other people to go above and beyond before we even go above, much less beyond, it's a form of wounding and you're still wounded. Like the saying goes, you only apply pressure to a wound, right? So that whole vibe of applying pressure is the kind of vibe that I'm getting here. Some of you are in that state where you've maybe had to overcome too many things in emotional situations. So now it's like, oh, well, this person got to rent a blimp and write I love you before I even, you know, type of energy. But that's going to trip you up or whoever this is. If it's not you, someone you may be connected to, maybe this could be why they're going, that why they're acting like hard to get vibe. It's not that they're hard to get. Maybe they were too easy to get in the past. You know what I'm saying? Like very vulnerable, which is usually the Queen of Cups. And maybe that didn't get them too far with that strength card. So they had to wheel that back a bit, bring it down a couple degrees. But now it's like the other opposite of the same extreme. Now you gotta like, you know, rent blimps and, you know, do that kind of stuff to show to get this person to even invest a little. Cause her back is very much turned. Even if you are masculine, you're not in any sort of giving mood. You're in a receiving mood, but you're not in a giving mood. <laughs> no point intended. So I am getting a jump through hoops energy. Hard to get. She kind of looks hard to get. Like she's moving forward, but her face is still looking back. Like she wants you to chase her type of vibe. And this is going to get burdensome. The Nine of Cups is very complacent energy. It's being happy with where you are. Yeah, see that regret? Someone here might regret taking this approach i am getting the vibe that someone didn't take action someone there is maybe someone that this person had their eye on they didn't take action due to past wounding and whoever it is that you're dealing with is probably not the jump through hoops type if this is someone to you leo you're definitely not the jump through hoops type especially if you're awoken leo you're not going to jump through hoops no this person's you know got to meet you halfway this is not a fight to the death type of you know but it's going to become too heavy for someone that nine of cups is living your best my living your best life card but it's also coming off as very you know you show me like very much that energy very much jump through hoops prove to me you love me tattoo my name on your forehead then i'll believe you <laughs> but with this and this especially with this being in your future energy it's not it's not a, it's not a good look Five of Cups is regret. Five of Cups is coulda, woulda, shoulda. Still being very much focused on what went wrong. But this is also an energy of needing to change the perspective. Because there's still an opportunity. If you change your perspective, stop focusing on these, which you did wrong. Okay. What's underneath here? Two. <laughs> I'm telling you. Somebody that definitely was feeling you. You were feeling them. They were feeling you. Two of Cups, mutual partnership, mutual love, mutual energy on a vibrational sense. But someone was playing it cool, hard to get, rent a blimp. Nine of Pentacles. I think this is you, Leo. <laughs> I mean, you're good either way, you know. If you if someone is a, if someone wants to offer you love and you're feeling you will you're there. But if they're not, hey. You also have two nines here. You're not in the, the games. You're not into it. Six of wands. But there will be an overcoming. The strength card can also be a card of overcoming. So whoever this is that's got the, 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 the sore spot, the wounding, this is the last bit that's going to help heal this up. This is going to be what's going to wrap this cycle up with this world card in your present position. Someone's got a lesson to learn here. Because there is passion, there is excitement. They see you as a catch. Yeah. Going from the nine to the ten of pentacles. Potential for long-term stability. You both see that in each other, but someone was trying to play it cool. Beautiful energy, Leo. Look at this. Gorgeous. Someone can get their head out their ass. Let's get the oracles for you. See what they got to say for Leo. So it's going to be up to you. You know which player you are. If you're the one that's been playing it too cool, you might be losing someone because of this sort of vibe. And this is someone to you. They definitely might want to wheel it back or, you know, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full Moon and Capricorn. Very much giving of the world card too. No longer playing these games because you end up playing yourself. 
nine times out of ten. Nine times out of the ten, yeah. Leo. Okay, that's way too many, and then I'm gonna put over Leo. What we got for Leo. See the bigger picture, giraffe spirit number twenty nine, which is a eleven. So this is meant to be. This is divine. This is synchronistic. This is aligned. But someone is getting ready to see the bigger picture. They're getting ready to see, to take their head off their own ass, quite literally. Right. This is the lesson. From now until the new year, it seems with that world card, I'm getting New Year's vibes. And listen, bitch, affirmation for you. Seeing the bigger picture here. No one else is dwelling on your mistakes. Move the fuck on. Bloop. Okay. Fr friendly reminder. Friendly reminder from the divine. No one else is dwelling on your mistakes. That's for whoever's in the pride that was in the sort of catch me if you can energy. They want to be caught. That's the that's the catch. Just they want to be caught by someone in particular, but they're playing, you know. So, Leo, that is your reading. I really do hope it resonates. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.